Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Culture. Good morning. How are you doing this morning? Well, it is a great day. A sanctified Saturday is your day, as you declared. And uh, it's a great day because we know who made the day, who made us. And we are alive in the day because of the great things God has for us. Amen. Amen. Well said, Pastor. And, man, I, 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 let's, keep, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. I, man, I, I got to turn it over to you because you... You got that motivational sound this morning, so I'm going to step out of the way and hand it over to you with Christ in action. And as always, Pastor, you got it. All right, indeed, delighted to be sharing good news this morning and the truth as it is in Jesus. That's why in order to save us, in order to save the day because of love, the Lord Jesus put himself in harm's way. There's no greater truth to know than that because it reveals the heart of God towards you and I, just how valuable you are. As I say often, simple truth, the price, the value of anything is the willing, is the price that someone is willing to pay. And when the God of the universe is willing to pay the price to redeem you, to save you, to reconcile you, to make you righteous and put in right standing with him was the gift of his son. That says a whole lot about him, but it also says a whole lot about you and how he sees you and the grace that is in his eyes when he looks at you. Unmerited, undeserved, unearned favor that is given to you in Jesus Christ. Now, we've been talking about how that uh, we are to live suited lives, armored by God, as the Apostle Paul writes in Ephesians 6. And we're talking about how we're to stand, therefore, with our loins girt about with truth. You know, I declare, and I've been teaching all along, that the armor really is Christ and all that he provided for us. So when we say we are to have our loins girt about with truth, Jesus himself, St. John 14, 6, is the way, the truth, the life. And so then the belt or the foundation and the very thing that holds our lives together is Jesus Christ and the truth of his life and his coming for us. Here's what we're told in uh, John chapter 1, St. John chapter 1, verses 16 and 17 says, of his grace have all we received and grace for grace. For the law came by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. In other words, we begin to see and to know God's unmerited, undeserved honor and favor when Christ came. He himself brought the grace of God to us to teach us Titus chapter 2 and verse 11 says, the grace of God that has appeared to every man has appeared to every man teaching us. What is it teaching us? The truth as it is in Jesus, Father God's great favor towards you and I. Why do we need to know this? And why is this so much a part of our armor and a part of what we are to belt ourselves with every day in life? It is because your adversary's tactics and devices, one is to lie. Jesus said he was a liar from the beginning. Whenever his mouth is moving, he's lying. Even when he tries to take the truth, he takes it and transforms himself into an angel of light to use it as a lie. Here's an example. In Matthew chapter four, as Jesus is being tempted after spending 40 days in the wilderness, Satan comes to tempt him and he tries to tempt him. Jesus answers him with the word. And so you know what Satan does? He says, all right, 
Well, if you're going to come at me like that, he said, is it not written that, uh, it, that he will give his angels charge over you? Well, cast yourself down from this high place uh, and because he said he'd do it. And Jesus, once again, had to use contextual discernment of real truth because a liar was using the word of God and using it deceitfully to try to cause him to fall. You see, Ben, this is more than rhetoric. This is so important for us to understand and know the truth as it is in Jesus. How do I discern it? By a relationship of walking with him, by reading and studying his words spoken, his life. You see, it also says in John that his life is the light of men and that no man has seen God at any time, but the only begotten Jesus who is in the bosom of the Father, he has declared him, revealed him. And so when we're talking about being girded about with truth, it's the truth of God. You can't do anything against the truth. You can only do but do something for the truth. The only way you can possibly seem to win where the truth is concerned is to hide it, to obscure it, to try and twist it in some way. That's why you and I must be curd with the truth that it is in Christ when the devil comes with his lies and his accusations because he's also an accuser. You got to know who you are in Christ Jesus. You got to know what God has done for you in Christ. You got to know the grace that you wear and walk in because of God's great love for you that is given to you in Jesus Christ. I tell you, friend, living and walking in and being girding in truth will cause you to put down every lie, every thieving tactic and accusation of the enemy and to walk in your triumph and victory of your position and identity in the Lord Jesus Christ. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected.church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here on this Gospel Explosion of Outreach to the Tennessee Valley every single day where Jesus is our joy, the dream of change into the life, that together you and I are the difference that makes the difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us and mobilize to his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. That's good news on this Sanctified Saturday, Pete. All right, Pastor, man, I tell you what, this sounding good as usual, and we just look forward to hearing you again in the morning with another Christ in Action broadcast. Yes, sir, and we got you locked in as you continue to share good news with us and encouraging words and good gospel music. Have a great day. Bye-bye. And you have a great one too, Pastor. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All righty. Well, hey, we go in the strength and the might of Almighty God today. Gird with the truth. The truth of God is our foundation. The truth of God that holds us together and keeping it tight. Keep it tight in Christ today, y'all, because he is our triumph. He is our victory. Grace and truth has come by him to defeat every lie, every tactic of the Satan, of Satan, and uh, and to to flourish and to and to third and to thrive today. All right, remember this: God loves Himself some you, and we do too. You matter to God, and you matter to us. Hey, by the way, it's it's the weekend and ten fifteen Sunday morning, right here in the Tennessee Valley at the Holiday Inn Express Mid City, the Banquet Hall. Uh, at the new Mid-City de Development uh, on the West End of the Holiday Inn Express is the Banquet Hall. And uh, if you'll see our signs when you arrive, but we would so love to see you in person. We're here for you. And uh, our catch is online at 1030. Praise and worship in the room starts at 1015. And we're continuing this message talking about suited. This series is an empowering and end-time message to keep us prepared and ready and going forward with the momentum and power and the glory of what Christ has appointed to us in this day as we show God's glory and goodness and love to our generation. See you then. Bye-bye for now.